So today we're looking at the Scarlet and Violet 151. This is a booster bundle, booster bundle thing. Um, so this is a real special set and there's lots to talk about in this. But this is going to feature the original uh, 151 original Pokemon. So if you grew up with Pokemon originally, this is a really cool little collectible little bundle booster thing. Because it's got some stuff in it from the original Pokemon. So yeah, let's get the, uh, the little hole down there. Alright, we got it. It's tight fitted. Okay, we got it off. We got it off. There's a little. What's this? Is it? Does it slide out? It slides out. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we got this sleeve thing. Team up with Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and witness a brand new dawn in Kanto. Okay, the original 151. That's cool. And it's a little. It's a little deck boxy thing. That's actually quite sturdy. That's more sturdy than I thought it was going to be. It's a nice little box. It's a little collectible box thing. That's cute. Okay, cool. We got our boosters. We got a box we can keep our stuff in. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six boosters. Okay, we got six boosters. We got Mew because Mew's the 151st Pokemon. And the, all the silhouettes of all the Pokemon on there. Nice and little shiny stuff. Ooh, I can't get in it. Our first Pokemon is Lickitung. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I think Lickitung's really cute. I know some people think that he's creepy or something, but I think that he's really cute. So, so something I want to say, uh, uh, with, with, with the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, with, with the beginning of Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards, they have finally done what the Japanese cards do and gone with a silver border around the outside so in so in the japanese they have a silver border around the outside they have done so for years and pokemon uh, in english has always had a yellow border around the outside of the cards for absolute absolute years and that was fine in the 90s because that's how things was in the 90s but it just made the card uh, it reduced the, the the visual quality of the cards in my personal opinion and now we've got the silver border, so the neatness of the card is retained, and I think that the I think that that looks really good because it it put you off because yellow is one of the brightest colors of the human eye, right? So it's kind of putting off of the artwork because it had this big bright yellow border. So yeah, there we go. Look at tongue. Look how cute he is. Looking at berries. Okay, Venonat. Look at him, little Venonat. That's cute and fluffy. Okay, Pidgey. Got a Pidgey. Yeah, the artwork for this set is really nice and stuff. I definitely like. I, I oh, oh, look at that poly wool. The, the artwork is not like nostalgic. It's not. It's not going for a nostalgic theme. They're definitely mod. They're definitely modernized. Um, but I really like that. It's it's really nice pieces of modern artwork and stuff. So that's really cool. Poly wool. Butterfree. There we go. Look at that. Actually, we can talk about Butterfree and Venonat. So there's this kind of there's this kind of theory because Venonat evolves into Venomoth, okay, and Butterfree evolves from Caterpie, which is a little green little little green little bug thing. Um, but there's this kind of theory that when they designed the game, they accidentally switched Venonat to Venonat should have evolved into Butterfree because look, he's purple and he's got red eyes and he's got those same little same little hand, same little mouth. And I mean, that is just a rumor, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was true. And they did actually in the code end up switching their evolutions because they are similar bug Pokemon. But he doesn't actually evolve into Butterfree because of how they did it. So yeah, we got Butterfree. Okay. Lapras. Woo. That's nice. That's cool. That's nice. Cycling Road. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's cool to see all the all, all of the cards that we recognize, and also these are places in Kanto in the original in the original world of the game that we recognize where the cycling road. Although I'm pretty sure the cycling road is on a steep incline, isn't it? That's flat. <laughs> it should be on a hill, shouldn't it? Gee, dude, we got a look at that a reverse hollow Gee, dude, a big air balloon. Okay, and. Our shiny Marowak. That's cool. So they've also included the silver. So again, in the in the Japanese boosters for years, you've had the hollow on the outside. And in the English, they didn't have the hollow on the outside. They only had it in the inner art. So now it's on the outside. So that's really good. So they've done a really good job. Another thing they've also done, I've noticed, they used to put the rare in the middle of the pack. 
but now it's at the back of the pack so that we got to open the pack. Because if you watch Pokemon YouTubers, they'll take the pack and then they'll put certain cards so that, so that the rare is the last card. So I'm also really glad that they've changed the arrangement of the uh, of the card for us. So we get so we get the rare last. So that's really cool. And then we get our energy in the back. So yeah, Look, I'm already recommending this. Okay, because <laughs> yes. I think this is I think this is a really good way to buy into this instead of buying a big big booster box and everything, which is quite expensive. I think this is a really good way to buy into this. This is not too expensive. You get a cute little box you can store your cards in. Yeah, I think this is really really fun. I'm 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 happy. I haven't I, I haven't opened Pokemon in a long time and i'm already very very uh, happy with with this so yeah except for when i can't get in a more one yay so fun all right oh look at that coughing that's cute that's cute look at him <laughs> tangela oh look he's getting that little berry that's cute grimer look at him he's so excited he's so ready gummy press sludge Oh, shy duck, that's cute. Overthink. During your opponent's next turn, whenever they flip a coin, treat it as a tail. Is that mean, Zyder? <laughs> Look at that, that's cute. Cloister. That's a nice piece of artwork. All the artwork is really nice, bright and vivid. I'm really, really happy with it and everything. Yes, it's really, really good. Giovanni's charisma. Yes. He's a villain. He's a villain. Ride on. Smashing up some stuff. Very nice. Oh, look. Charismatic Drill. If you play Giovanni's Charisma from your hand during this turn, this attack does 140 more damage. Blimey. Yeah, because I think Giovanni has a ride on or something. Raticate. That's really nice. That's really nice artwork. Look at that. That's, that's really, really nice. And the shine really, really adds to it. Very nice. And Seedra. Got a reverse hollow Seedra as well. Yeah, these are really, really good. I really, really like this. Really, really good. Oh, Dragonite. Look, we got Dragonite. Look. <laughs> you can look at himself with the card. That's cute. We got a shiny. <laughs> the English quality of the cards is cheaper than the Japanese quality. Uh, they're printed by different uh, companies, I think. So the edging of the card, I don't know if you can see, but the edging of the card retains the stamped outedness that you get in the English release. And I do think, and also it's slightly, is it, is it, is it miscut as well? You can see there's not much at the bottom, uh, the top, but there is more at the bottom. It's slightly miscut and stuff. I normally collect my Pokemon cards in uh, Japanese because of just collecting it but i really wanted to get this in english for, for one time and I, I still i still approve i still think it's very cool so yeah look at that it's really pretty all this artwork is really really cool really really pretty artwork honestly oh look at him little polywag little polywag in your little water that's cute ponyta that's nice getting ready for 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 battling or something pikachu obviously <laughs> Go get your Pikachu. There he is. Cute. Cypher. That's cool. That's cool. Charmeleon. All right. It's all the fire and stuff. Parasect. We use of all the mushrooms in the forest and everything. Yeah, it's nice. It really captures their environment and stuff in the background of the artwork. Electabuzz. Oh, he's our little reverse hollow. Yeah, it's really cool. Do we get two reverse hollows in a set? Yeah, we do. There we go, look at that. Now what's coming in through your window there, Gas? It doesn't look very good, does it? What's all that? Black stuff at the windows all smash. Poor Ghastly. Alright. Oh, we've got Charizard DX. This po <laughs> Have we pulled the rarest card? I don't know how rare this is, but you know, because the thing is, right, everybody wants Charizard. Alright, there we go, guys. We go. <laughs> And you can see, can you see the glitter stars on that as well? Look at that. That was easy, wasn't it? And we got, oh, we got, we got a shiny. Look at that. It's got a galaxy foil. Yeah, so the, so the galaxy foils, you can see the spirals there. This kind of foil artwork is actually what you would get in the original, original Pokemon card background. So it's cool that they've kind of brought it back for this. Yeah, I'm having fun. You should definitely pick up one of these packs. Then we got Poliwell. 
cocoon. Oh, yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got you. Oh, yeah, Polly Wang. Yeah, we got you. It's probably a repeat pack. Yeah, Polly Wang. This is, I've noticed this with, I've noticed this with Pokemon that you get, once, once you open another pack, you get like a repeat of the same stuff for some reason. Victory Battle. I think it must be how they like spin them off of the machine when they're cutting them up, you know. Victory Bow, there he is in the cool. Big balloon! I don't remember there being an air balloon in the original. Anyway, I don't remember that. What's that? Primate, there he is, looking grumpy, ran a rave. <laughs> cool. Nidder Queen. She's looking pleased with herself. I like the mountains in the background. That's cool. That's nicely painted. The duo. He's running along. Nice. Oh, Articuno. Yeah, that's one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, like legendary Pokemon. It's just really cool. Everybody always wanted to collect the legendary Pokemon and stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Very happy with that. Very cool. And we've got an energy card as well. Okay. Psyduck. Here he is again. Ekins, that's nice. All of the painting and all of the artwork is really nice, yeah. Cute bone, yeah, we is. Oh, looking at his bone, poor him. Oh, Vulpix, that's nice. That's a nice painting, this cute little Vulpix. Onyx! Thumpalange! Oh, my big old rock snake! <laughs> Oh, Dragonair, look, that's cute. That's cute. Look at that moon thing. and That's cute. Very nice and cute. Seedra. Yeah, speeding along. Really good. Oh, Charmander, look at him. He looks really happy. He looks really happy. Set fire to the grass, though, Charmander. That's not very helpful. Oh, no. Oh, he looks happy about it. Machoke. Look at him. <laughs> Doing his silly little Machoke pose. Oh, Machoke. So, appara so apparently this isn't pants. Apparently that isn't pants. That's actually his markings. Apparently that, <laughs> that's apparently how Machoke works. That's literally his body colour. So in case you're wondering if that was pants. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's <laughs> cute. Oh no, that's cute! Oh dear, wait, 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 wait! I didn't think, I didn't think to bring Chansey along as well. Look how cute that is! That's really cute! Oh, that's really cute! What's it do? If you took this Pokemon as a face down prize during your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. If you put this Pokemon onto your bench, flip a coin. If head, take one more prize card. Oh my goodness. Taking the prize card is how you win. That's really cool. Oh, Chansey. You can sit on Charizard. <laughs> You're more important than Charizard. We're on our last pack then. We're on our last pack. Okay. Okay, we got Pikachu. Oh, Farfetch, that's cool. We like Farfetch. Look at him, a little bit in the dark in the water there. That's cool. Old Amber, yeah, that's a really nice picture. Yeah, he, he, he it's a fossil. It turns into a fossil Pokemon. Pidgeotto, yeah, nice, nice. Flap, he's going to flap. Oh, Pharaoh, yeah, yeah, nice, cool. Onyx again, there he is, looking angry. Oh, they get stuck together sometimes. Dragonair, that's cute, Dragonair. Oh, Golduck, that's nice. He looks happy with himself, doesn't he? He's happy in the water. That's cool. Oh, look, there we go. Okay, I was going to say we've not got a full art yet. <laughs> we've got another really rare card. <laughs> yeah, look, it's got a it's got a double double gold star down there. Very, very rare card. Um, You can see the texture on it. See the texture in her eyes and everything. See the texture on the card. Yeah, very nice. We've got Erica. Erica is, yeah, she's really, really nice gym leader. And I have a, I have a slight nostalgia for her from the original, original set as well, because she's, yeah, so she's really cool. And yeah, so we got a really cool card. I was going to say we've not got like a full art yet, because there's a lot of full art cards to collect in this set. So that's a really cool card. Got a shiny Vaporeon. That's very nice. Very nice. And we got a shiny fire energy as well. 
Very cool. All right. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. I, I think there's, I'd say there's a few there's a few things to talk about. Uh, yes, the quality of English Pokemon cards is slightly cheaper. They're a little rough down the edge here. They are a little rough. I think the Japanese ones are slightly more plasticky, so they're a little bit smoother. Um, uh, this is obviously a really nice and really rare card, but because the quality of the paper that they're using is slightly rough uh, it really doesn't pop as much as i think that it would in japanese this doesn't feel quite as rare uh, as it would in japanese that's just a just a slight criticism i want to talk about just for the collector's sake um but i'm still really really happy with this set i really really like the box i like that you can just store it in the box and everything i i mean i really really think this is definitely worth the purchase and definitely worth like getting back into pokemon with or boosting your collection with i think that's really cool there was a card i was hoping for that we didn't get and i want to talk about this card so basically there has been a pokemon that have they have not printed for many many years so Kadabra, Kadabra, who evolves from abra and evolves into alakazam Kadabra. In Japanese, Kadabra's name is Urigella. That's his name. He's called Urigella in Japanese. And uh, so, so Urigella is the, the spoon bending guy, right? Basically, red spoons. Yeah, because Kadabra holds these two spoons, basically, for, for spoon bending and stuff like that. So he's called Urigella. And, and basically, long story short, Urigella took offense to that. And uh, uh, Pokemon have not been allowed to print Kadabra for years and years and years and years like a really really long time so basically he, he he had a lawsuit against them and he didn't want his name printed on the cards but now he said that he's got children of his own and he felt bad for denying children getting to play with the for getting to play with the card so this is a this is an important set because this is i believe it's the first brand new printing of kadabra aka erigella card basically right so so I was hoping that we were going to get Kadabra so I could talk about him, but we didn't. But there we go. So, yeah, see if you can get your see if you can get Kadabra because it's actually a really big deal that he is being reprinted in this set because all of the base Pokemon being reprinted and he's just never been printed for years. They've printed Abra and they've printed Alakazam, but they've never printed Kadabra for for evolution's sake. So yeah, I think we did pretty good. I I wouldn't I I wouldn't uh I wouldn't have expected any more rares than we got. I think we did good. I think we got a we got a Charizard EX and we got our full art uh character rare as well. So I, I wouldn't uh, have expected more than that. I I'm happy with with the pool rate and everything like that. So yeah, this is really really cool little product. I'm really really happy. Everyone's really happy. Yeah, I think this might be my favorite. That is just so cute. That's so cute. He's just got him picked up that little four leaf clover, just like a little chance because chance is really lucky. That's really cute and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I basically highly recommend it and everything. I had a, I had a lot of fun opening this and yeah, it's really, really great. So yes. Okay. <laughs>